Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're gonna be working with our 1998 Ford F-150. We're gonna show you how to remove and replace your vehicle's front door latch. Now this is for a door with power locks. It will be very similar on a manually locked door. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this and many other vehicles. And if you ever need parts for your truck, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Pop the cover tab off behind the door handle. You should be able to do this with your fingers. Then inside there is an eight millimeter screw securing the door handle to the latch. We'll get that with an eight millimeter socket ratchet and extension. Now the trick here is do not remove this bolt all the way. Get it about halfway out until the handle's free and leave it. It'll stay in there. You don't have to worry about losing the bolt. Grab the sail panel, pop that off with your hand, and the upper trim at the rear as well just pops off by hand. Now normally there is a seven or eight millimeter screw in both of these locations under those panels. Ours are obviously missing. Lift up and remove the window switch and unplug all four electrical connectors. and remove the panel from the truck. You can then lift up, lay your door panel back, unplug the marker light, and remove the panel from your truck. Remove the clasp on the door handle rod for the interior door. Remove it from its retainer and allow it to hang. Remove the retainers the actual door lock. You can see it has the little ears you want to push together from the inside to pop it out. Pull the lock actuator rod towards you and then toward the front of the door to release it. Pop it out of its holder. Remove the three T30 Torx. Ours have been painted over, so I need to tap our bit in. Once the bolts are out, remove your latch from the truck. Now you may need to remove the bolt for the window guide down here with the 13 millimeter to get the room, but ours has actually broken out of the door, so we don't need to remove that. It's something we'll need to fix later. Once you have the latch out of the door, you'll want to undo any electrical connectors that are still attached. Now it's very common on these F-150s for the door to break right where the window track or window guide, which is what allows the window to stay in place as it drops into the door. That bolt tears through the inner skin of the door and can create that kind of tapping or rattling sound when you drive your truck, as well as not having your window be secure in there. Fortunately, this is such a common issue, there's a very easy repair for it. We're gonna remove this 11 millimeter bolt and get the old chunk of sheet metal off of there. And you can see here that this piece of sheet metal is right where that hole is. And if you had a welder, you could just tack that in there. But fortunately, we have an easy solution even if you don't weld. Now I have this old piece of sheet metal lying around from another project. It's not incredibly thick, which is actually gonna make it easy to work with. And since we're not covering a very big hole here, it doesn't have to be super sturdy. So I'm just gonna take with a Sharpie, and you could measure this out. Sorry. I'm gonna just take a marker here and just measure out 
approximately the size and shape here, and I'm sure I'm gonna have to trim this a little, but that's okay. And this is just an average pair of tin snips or metal shears. You could use some cutting tools if you have them, like a cutoff wheel or a grinder, but again, it's very thin stuff, very easy to work with. So I'll cut my shape out. And actually, I didn't do too bad there. So we'll take our marker. I'll set this corner in, and I want to round this one off a little, and round this one off a little. Really only need to go to there with that. So we'll just keep trimming until it fits inside of that hole. So we're gonna put some grease on the old broken piece of metal. You wanna go pretty thick here. Now I'm gonna hold it roughly where it was on the door, put our panel in, and press them together. That was actually the grease on my finger made that center mark. So now I know right where we want to drill our hole. So now we'll drill that hole out. I use the 5 16th drill bit, which is actually a little bit oversized, but that's fine. We have that huge washer on there from the factory. So let's go make sure this lines up. So that's right in the middle of our blowout there. And our bolt hole lines up perfect. Now we'll hold it in place, install our bolt, tighten it down to hold our sheet metal in place and there is some small adjustment here if you want you really just want to keep that window guide in the back pretty straight so tweak it as necessary right about there looks good so we'll bring that down tighten it up with an 11 millimeter socket you don't want to go too tight just yet because we don't want to suck in that sheet metal and create gaps. Now yes, you could just leave it tight like this and everything would probably be fine, but we already had one failure, so we're going to go ahead and overdo it a little bit. We're going to drill out the corner. We're going to rivet it into place, and this is all going to depend on exactly what rivets you use. We'll now install a rivet. Nice and secure. So now we'll go ahead and just throw them in a few more places. Depending on how bad yours blew out, you may want to add more or less, and the locations are going to vary as well. But I'm going to go ahead and probably throw five or six in here just to make sure everything stays put. Now that everything's in place, We'll finish tightening down our 11 millimeter. And now our window guide is right where we want it. Now this metal already has a rust coating on it that we used. If yours doesn't, you want to just put any kind of paint on there. This is inside the door, so it doesn't matter, but it is going to help prevent that from rusting out. Remove your 11 millimeter window guide bolt so we can move the rear window guide out of our way. Now we have some room to manipulate this. Reinstall your door latch. Line up the three bolt holes. Reinstall your T30 Torx screws. And tighten the bolts back down with your T30 Torx driver. Reinstall your door lock actuator rod for vehicles with power door locks. Snap the lock rod retainers back into place. Re-engage the door latch rod. Don't forget to reconnect your electrical connector or connectors. There are two on the actuator. It's gonna vary based on which truck you have. We only have one at the bottom. Snap the lock rod back into your door handle. 
and set the door handle rod back into its clasp and close it. And you're ready to reinstall your window guide. Reinstall the 11 millimeter bolt. Normally there's a series of clips that'll retain your harness against the door. Ours have been broken or missing. So we'll just feed the wiring for the switch up through the panel and reconnect our courtesy light into its socket. Line up the door lock. And all the pins in the door. And slide it back into place. There are also your two screws or pins in the corner here that you'll need to reinstall. Ours are missing. Reinstall the top panels by lining them up and snapping them into place. Reconnect all the switches in your panel. Line up the tabs and snap it back into place. Reinstall your door handle and line up the bolt with the hole. Reinstall it with your 8mm socket and ratchet. Reinstall a little plastic cover and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.